Montrez rumbles across the lane. Oh, power and finesse from Montrez Harold. Well, isn't that nice to see that move? Must have been watching some Kareem videos. We've seen that a few times over the last couple of years. Deadman for three rattles it in. Just his 14th three-pointer of the season brings Sacramento to within seven. Lou going to go two for one, works the clock. What a feed by Trez. He's going to lose their two for one. Now Montrez just has to get off the shot. And another Aaron rebound to the dismay of Luke Walton. Lou. Drifting. Shot is blocked by Joseph. And now the Kings off and running. Shot clock is dark. Joseph runs into Magruder. A whistle to add to the ledger here. They lead by five. Montrez likes moments like this. Down the lane. No. Great look by Montrez. Two percent of his threes in the last seven ball games. He is two for three in this first half as Jerome Robinson brings it across for the Clippers who lead by five. Shot clock into single digits. Montrez, a bit out of his comfort zone, another mid-range shot for him. Has not hit many of those this year, but he is always in gear in the paint. Looks tough for an NBA player when a teammate gives you the ball with four seconds, three seconds left on the 24 second clock. What they're basically saying is, um, I can't create something, but will you please create a shot for us? Paul George is in the lineup tonight. First game since January 5th. Deadman left alone for three. Blue to Trez. And Deadman with that long reach of his able to create the deflection in the turtle. And you see how hard it is for a big man and they come right back to Kings. Throw him back down. They're in a beautiful fast break coming right back at the Clippers in transition. Deadman running the floor. But I was mentioning how hard it is for a big man when he's rolling hard to the front of the rim to catch those passes that the guards are throwing. Robinson drives on Bazemore. Mishandles and loses the ball. And I think he was an ass to Magruder. Corey Joseph. Corey Joseph is one of the best guys coming off the bench for a team. He always was able to come in, make a big shot when you need him, hit two or three in a row, and all of a sudden, King's warming up a little bit. You see Bazemore knock one down. Joseph started his career in San Antonio, spent some time in Toronto. As boy. Pat Beverly checks back into the lineup. He played six minutes in that first quarter. Lou dishes to Magruder. Awkward shot and a big stuff by Buddy Heald. And the Kings have a chance to take their first lead in the second frame. Well, they say in the NBA it's a game of runs. We're on a 10 nothing run. Make that 13 nothing right now in favor of the Kings. And we talked about it. Buddy